When studying for Cisco exams, people often use the Cisco official certification guides and those books, they have more than 500 pages. And did you know that you don't have to read the whole book to pass the exam? I'll share you a secret. I don't read. Instead, I use a strategy that allows me to read more and faster. How? You're about to find out. In this video, I'm going to share with you the five tips that I use before taking any Cisco exam. As an example, let's take a look at this book. We use this book. This is the official certification guide, uh, CCAE routing and switching. Uh, this was the recommended book for those who wanted to take the CCAE written exam before Cisco uh, updated the CCAE routing switching track. And we can see uh, the dedication, acknowledgements, and some useful information and so on but i want you to focus at this part and this is the contents so and this is the first tip that i recommend you to look at and this is to have an overview about the book so not getting into the details for each chapter but first have an understanding of uh, the different components of the book so we can see that Cisco they do uh, a great job by dividing these into sections so we have part one part two part three this way I'm able to identify okay which parts should I start reading first uh, a strategy that I use also is to focus on the components or the parts that I'm weak the most and the ones that I feel more comfortable I'll read them at a later stage. Okay, so first tip, look, uh, try to have an overview of the book. Now, when we see the contents, uh, immediately what most of people like to do, right? You probably will jump into the chapter. So let's start with chapter one. And you probably read, okay, what can I see in chapter one? Uh, what are the subtopics? I don't do that instead let me show you what i do so let's get right into chapter one so okay probably almost there so let me just jump directly into part one and zoom a little bit so and this is going to be my tip number two start by answering the quiz cisco also does a great job here they have a quiz uh, that allows you to kind of self-evaluate yourself. If you're able to answer uh, all of these questions before reading the chapter, it means that you don't have to waste time reading the chapter. And my advice is if you score, let's say 80% uh, of the answers are correct, then you should just read the key topics on the, on the chapter, okay? You don't have to read all the chapters because you're just wasting time. You already uh, know that you're comfortable with the content. So just focus on getting the key top. So, so the second tip will be to uh, do a self-evaluation by answering the quiz. Okay. Now, if you score below 80, you definitely have to read uh, the chapter because you are weak on these topics. But if you score above 80%, then just focus on reading the key topics. And also, even if you score, let's say 90% or 100%, at least just read the key topics. And let me show you what I mean by key topics. So Cisco, they identify some topics as key ones. So I will just read those key topics instead of reading the whole chapter. Okay. So that would be my tip number two. Now, tip number three, if we go to foundation summary, so every chapter has a foundation summary. Okay. So that would be, uh, my third tip for you is to read the foundation summary. Guess what? You did a self evaluation before the chapter and you read the key topics. Now at the end, you want to just kind of see if you, the foundation, what they have in foundation in the summary, it's the same understanding you have about that chapter. Okay. So my third tip would be to 
read the foundation summary and you have here some uh tables uh with referencing uh some topics inside the chapter again i would also suggest you to kind of read this again although this content uh, you probably see inside the chapter as a key topic but by reading this again you are reinforcing the concept that you already have so read the foundation summary after reading the key topics now tip number four uh, for this book they have here a study planner and why do i use a study planner so they have here a template that you can use as a reference so i have my own so i use this as a reference but i added other fields other columns and when i talk with other professionals uh and they say oh, i'm going to study and i ask what exactly are you going to study oh i'm going to study ospf yeah but what exactly about ospf you're going to study and it's like oh i'm just going to read a chapter about ospf so it's not clear instead you should already be clear about what you're going to study and for how long you're going to study that topic so you can set a goal okay and you should have the amount of time that you plan to start on that specific topic so in my case if i were to start ospf i would be specific such as i'm going to start ospf adjacency using ipv4 and probably i'll reserve two hours and that's going to be on sunday at 10 pm for instance that's being specific so when it uh when i get to the time to study that topic my brain already knows what i should be looking for instead of just reading all the pages or trying to find okay we, probably i should read this probably i should read authentication about ospf no instead i'm just going to focus on that specific topic that i already plan to study for and if okay if i'm able to get to the target okay i really i read and i understood the content so probably i start reading uh another topic as well but again you should have a plan before studying the content and it's not reading reading is something that you should be studying reading and trying to understand what you read and then come up with your own conclusions about what you just read okay now tip number five is that you should build a lab to test what you are learning and this can be obvious right because at this time you probably already uh have building labs right uh, right you 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 study you're studying for a, a technical exam right so you should already be familiar with building labs you should right okay forget it okay and this is the strategy that i used before taking any sister exam so first i'll try to have an overview of the book uh just to see which sections uh, how many parts they have and this will allow me to have a bigger picture of which technology should i strike first secondly I would answer the quiz before reading any chapter just to make a self-evaluation to see how comfortable I am with the contents in that chapter and depending on that I would just read the key topics for that chapter third I would read the foundation summary for each uh, chapter uh, fourth I would build uh, a study planner okay you should already have a study planner by now and fifth i would build a lab to test uh what i just learned for that specific chapter or section so these are my five tips i hope you enjoyed and until the next time take care